Gamers, Rectangular back, this time with another Marvel Legends news update. Well, it's been a couple of weeks, I think, since I last did a news video, and in that time frame, Hasbro put up the official loose and packaged images of the X-Men wave of Marvel Legends, and also, uh, like, I gave everybody a heads up, uh, that the first week of June the pre-orders were going to go live and they did so hopefully everybody got in their pre-orders and since uh, or right not too long after Hasbro um, showed off all the official images for the the wave a there was a uh, press event that took place in Taiwan and uh, one of the attendees was able to do reviews on the entire wave and I'm gonna go over uh, all those pictures here I think the website is toy-people.com I will uh, link it below so you can you know go and check out the uh, actual images themselves I just you know copied them all but we'll start off with uh, Cable here, and um, yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people are disappointed uh, that they're getting this version of Cable, but uh, don't be surprised if they just uh, take that vest off, or actually a lot of customizers will probably be able to remove the vest and uh, make their own version of Cable. They're probably just going to, you know, really release them with a, a different, um, you know, paint scheme and... Um, a, you know, different uh, configuration for the vest, so they might come with a Baby Hope. I think that's the uh, um, the one that everybody is hoping to get their hands on. But um, yeah, I think he looks pretty damn good. Um, uh, I th think that is the the Nuke body that he's on, which is the Grim Reaper mold. So uh, very nice. Um, the they've been making really good use of the Grim Reaper. Reaper mold for these new figures, so uh, very cool. Um, I think I think a lot of people are going to be surprisingly happy with that uh, with that cable once they get them in hand. And then we have Cable and Deadpool, and uh, Deadpool is going to be uh, very sought after. Uh, all these figures are one per case, so. Um, I haven't heard of any uh, variants, um, not variants, but um, different assortments for the wave yet for, you know, having like two Wolverines and two uh, Rogues or, or two Deadpools in, uh, in the case. So um, as it stands, you know, if you want to be guaranteed to get um, all the figures, I would pre-order a case, which you can do on the uh, articulated uh, comic book art website um, or you know other retailers of course but um, yeah support ACBA man but um, yeah the Deadpool looks um, fantastic um, yeah I think he's gonna be uh, very difficult to find love all the accessories that uh, that smiling face head um, you know with the burned off uh, flesh is uh, is pretty fantastic um, it's going to be the, the same um, rocket launcher that uh, the Punisher is going to come with. And uh, then moving on to Havoc. Um, this is going to be a great base body for customs. You know, being all black with just a, a little bit of silver and blue paint on him. Um, yeah, it's just a Bucky Cap mold, you know. Hopefully the the paint apps are going to be pretty clean because there's you know very little that they can screw up on this guy. The uh, effects pieces look really good, um, so I am going to pass on this figure. But uh, those effects are are quite good. And next we have Iceman, and um, not too many people really excited for this Iceman. Um, I don't know which. Incarnation. I think this is the modern version of Iceman. And I think people wanted a more classic uh, looking Iceman. But um, yeah, don't be surprised if they um, just reuse this mold with a 
different uh, lower legs and lower arms and a head um, for a uh, classic Iceman in the future. And then we have uh, Kitty Pride, and I'm pleasantly surprised by this um, figure. You know, pretty basic as far as paint apps go, but um, you know, if all the figures that we get look this good, I'm going to be very happy um, that uh, you know Hasbro <laughs> might have um, just given their best looking uh, wave to review, but um, this. The head on Kitty is uh, is really nice. I'm I'm really liking that. Um, I actually went ahead and pre-ordered this just because I'm such a huge uh, Guardians fan that uh, I just had to had to include her. And um, yeah, I, I'm actually looking forward to this uh, that figure. Next we have the uh, onslaught build a figure with that head that comes with Kitty and um, yeah I think a lot of people are going to be excited to finally complete their um, onslaught with the um, more recognizable head instead of the red skull head um, but um, yeah I already sold mine so I don't really care about that one Phoenix um, the figure itself looks pretty good I'm not really impressed with the head on that uh, on that jean, um, she looks like Jay Leno to me. Just a very narrow uh, head with a long jaw. So um, yeah, I wasn't planning on picking this up anyway. But um, hopefully the uh, the paint apps are going to be good. It looks like they use that um, uh, paint injected gold plastic for the legs and the uh, lower arms so uh, that was a smart move on Hasbro par Hasbro's part so hopefully the gold on the uh, Phoenix on her chest will turn out well on all the ones that uh, show up in the wild next we have Rogue and you know, a lot of people are going to be really excited to get their hands on her um, yeah she looks very good in these photos um, I'll have to go back and compare these to how she looked at, uh, at Toy Fair um, and I haven't talked to uh, to Boog since this um, since these pictures came out but um, yeah I think she is gonna be a pretty damn good figure and of course we have Wolverine and I'm very excited for this uh, Wolverine I'm a huge fan of the character and this costume is by far my my favorite. I still love the uh the old Toy Biz uh brown suit um but uh this looks a lot more um comic book like I should say with the uh the yellow um really uh m you know a lot brighter than uh than what the, the Toy Biz version is from series 6. Um yeah, I really only my only complaint is I wish that he had come with an unmasked head. That would have uh, that would have really been nice. Um, it is cool that we're getting those uh, alternate hands, um, but uh, yeah, I would have would have liked it a different. I would have liked a, an angry face head. Even if even if they had made a masked version with an angry face, that would have that would have been really cool. And then we have the Juggernaut build a figure, and um, yeah, I really wasn't. I was on the fence about uh, about getting the Juggernaut build a figure until I saw these pictures. Um, I think he is going to be uh, very good. Um, the there was a lot of speculation on whether or not he would actually have an ab crunch, and um, you know we definitely know he's getting an ab crunch, and. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to be pretty damn poseable um, for the most part and uh, a good size. So I'm, uh, I'm actually looking forward to getting my hands on this guy. And then finally we have uh, Punisher they showed who um, I think is technically part of the Spider-Man wave, but um, they must have had him uh, on hand to show off there at the show. Uh, or convention, whatever it was, and um, yeah, this this Punisher looks fantastic. Um, I definitely like the head with the bandana a lot more than the um, 
five o'clock shadow head. Um, just something about it. Just uh, it looks like um, I think somebody said uh, it looks like Richard Grieco from uh, Twenty One Jump Street, and uh, I definitely agree. Um, for you young folks who probably don't know that show, but uh, Johnny Depp used to be on that TV show uh, back when I was a teenager. And um, yeah, I'm not not impressed with that that head, but uh, uh, also not impressed with the white um, street sweeper shotgun that he comes with. Uh, that was that was a dumb move, you know. Why couldn't they just give us the same um, exact same street sweeper that comes with a, a Deadpool? That would have been fine, um, or a black one, you know. It's just ugh, I don't like that at all. I don't like the I don't like colors, unreal colors for for. For toy guns, it's it's silly. So if you were looking to get your hands on individual figures from the wave, Amazon put up pre-orders for all the figures from the wave, and very quickly, Deadpool, Rogue, and Wolverine sold out. So um, definitely keep checking back. You know if history repeats itself then we'll see uh, Deadpool Rogue and Wolverine go back up um, probably in the next week or so um, that's how it's gone in the past usually once they get their initial order into Hasbro um, they'll go back and you know they'll, they'll tell Hasbro hey you know um, we would like to order you know individual cases of these three figures um, because they they sold out so quickly, and we know we can sell more, so um, more than likely that's going to be the case. So as of right now, you can still order Cable, Havoc, Kitty Pride, Iceman, and Jean uh, Phoenix um, on Amazon right now for twenty dollars plus tax if you if you are taxed in your state on Amazon and. Um, you know that's uh, free shipping with with Prime, so you know only have to buy I think three figures um, to get free shipping. Some very cool news from Diamond Select this week. They posted a some preview images and a video of a destroyer figure that they're going to be putting out which looks fantastic. I'm uh, very happy to be getting this. Um, not only is it a cool figure, but we are getting something that is going to be f excellent to replace your Marvel Legends um, destroyer. My uh, my friend uh, Dominic, uh, aka Advocate Panoy, put up a, a video um, talking about this figure and he showed the uh, old Toy Biz Destroyer with the Marvel Select Thor and um, which is perfect for your Legends Thor, it's uh, 7 inches and uh, that Thor uh, towers over the Toy Biz um, Destroyer so we definitely have been needing a uh, bigger Destroyer and uh, here's a screenshot from the video showing um, that this guy is going to be nine inches tall. That's the uh, alternate Odin head uh, on the figure, but I'm pretty sure that the destroyer head is going to be um, about the same size. So um, very, very cool. Uh, you know, we always get excellent uh, paint and sculpt from Diamond Select. You know, the articulation is always going to be. Um, suffering but this thing is supposed to have 16 points of articulation and they said the same thing about the uh, diamond select door uh, and I think he actually has more I think he has like like uh, 18 to 20 just don't tell diamond just don't tell Hasbro or uh, Marvel because they have like a exclusive uh, contract um, exclusivity on how many points of articulation but yeah the old um, destroyer that came in the movie wave uh, was about the same size I think uh, nine inches it only had five points of articulation so uh, this thing is going to be um, way better than that one and the uh, Toy Biz um, uh, destroyer that we got 
back in the um, Modoc wave, I believe. And uh, this is a screenshot from uh, Sean Long's video showing the destroyer next to that uh, Thor, Thor Buster, which he was the variant of. And um, yeah, he's he is going to be uh, <laughs> massive in comparison to these figures. So uh, very cool. Next up from Revel Tech, they announced the Deadpool that they're going to be doing. And actually, the pre-order for him just went up, um, like in the past hour. I'm shooting this um, at night on the West Coast, and uh, Thursday night. So um, hopefully, you know, if you want him, you are uh, jumping on this uh, pre-order right now. Um, you know, he's uh, it's a Japanese company, so you're gonna have to find a, a Japanese website to order them from. Looks like he's going for forty-seven dollars plus shipping. So, uh, you know, um, it's a little imports are always more expensive, but you're getting uh, a spectacular amount of detail and articulation. It comes with, uh, I think, uh, four uh, heads, four or more. Um, well, it's actually uh, an alternate head with different uh, eye expressions. Um, and uh, let's see, three extra sets of hands, two handguns, swords, you know, a pair of swords. Um, just, you know, <laughs> you're going to be able to do just about anything you want with this guy. Um, I do like the figure, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of uh, of Revel Tech joints, so I'm, I'm actually going to skip this one. Um, and Mezco is still um, still hasn't shown theirs other than uh, like a 3D rendering um, of what they're going to do in the one twelfth scale. And uh, Figma has uh, still only just showed a um, you know like a concept art um, like box art for for theirs. So uh, Revel Tech is a uh, first out the gate and uh, we'll have to see if uh, SH Figure Arts is going to jump on the man wagon which I would be surprised if they did not. Last but definitely not least a seller in Hong Kong put up orders for the Space Venom wave of Spider-Man Marvel Legends and Yes, they are in China now, and they should be sending. They should be arriving at uh, distributors probably in about three weeks, and uh, we're looking at probably getting them in about the same time that the X Men wave, which would be the first week of August. So, uh, pretty much back to back, um, you know, similar to uh, I think the last couple waves the, the Captain America and Spider-Man wave hit um, almost about the, about the same time maybe a week apart but um, yeah so far these um, these guys are looking pretty good it's kind of hard to make out that uh, Miles Morales head um, he definitely looks um, just kind of uh, serene like not much of a uh, an expression on his face. You know, he come, he comes in, he's going to come with at least um, three sets of hands, so that's cool. And looks like the um, the space venom is going to be based on that um, ultimate green goblin. The Peter Parker head uh, has got more more of an expressive look on his face, like a smile. He's got those um, hair drapes, <laughs> uh, which he was, um, you know, this is based on the ultimate uh, Spider-Man um, from the, I think the cartoon and the comics. Uh, I know my, my friend Marvel, um, Michael Wisman is a, a big fan of that, uh, that comic. I'm not familiar with the Ultimate Spider-Man comics, but um, apparently this is pretty accurate to the comic, and uh, he's you know a teenager in in those uh, in those books. So um, yeah, that's why he's gonna come on that uh, teenage body. And then you can see Silk 
and she looks pretty damn good. It's going to be um, interesting to see the spider webbing on her chest. Um, hopefully Hasbro's not going to make too many errors on that. But uh, it's very cool that she comes with the uh, unmasked head with the um, the mask that's down, removed, uh, you know, so you can just have it um, sitting on her neck, uh, pulled down. So, uh, so very cool Hasbro. Um, don't know yet if she's going to come with alternate hands. You can't see them in the package here, but um, they did a similar thing uh, with the movie Electro where... Um, here, you know, with the comic book uh, Electro, we're probably going to be getting alternate hands, but you can't see them. They're down below um, his feet. So hopefully they will do the same thing with uh, Silk and with uh, with Electro here. We'll get um, probably the fists uh, for him. And then we got the, um, the Hobgoblin. And uh, he comes with an alternate head, so I know a lot of people are going to be excited for that. And he comes with a glider, um, and it uh, looks like the same uh, bomb that came with uh, the um, previous goblin that we got, the Build-A-Figure. And then, uh, finally, Ashley Barton, Spider-Girl. And, um, yeah, she looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell from this from this photo. Um it's hard to tell if the uh, how that um, paint job looks on her chest, um, but so far I'm liking the the sculpt. The the hair looks pretty cool, and uh, yeah, definitely the the eyes are popping in this photo. So um, uh, the assortment um, is going to be two Peter Parkers and two Miles Morales figures right now. So. Um, no word on uh, a different assortment down the road, but I would not be surprised if they they mix that up, um, maybe with uh, two electros and two uh, um, silks. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And with that, hopefully you guys like the video, you share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Crispy.